It's important for us to be out here today as this is an action about homelessness. Uh, we can't have people living in tents when we have so much housing that is going uh, basically uh, to our waste. Currently, uh, all the uh, city of Chicago is uh, doing is uh, shuttling the uh, homeless. They've uh, they basically uh, pushed them from uh, one extreme to to another. When the homeless are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. We're out here today because the city has conducted a relentless campaign of harassment against the homeless. And we have to say that this cannot stand. That we are going to be out here, we're going to be marching, we're going to be demanding until this illegal, unconstitutional harassment of the homeless ends. They want to take people's items. They want to take people's tents. They want to give money to luxury housing developers. Well, we're going to take this fight to Alderman Kaplan's office. We are going to set up a picket line outside of his office. We're going to set up tents in front of his office. And we're going to fight fair. Yeah. Yeah. Right. This city talks about crime. We've had over 500 killings in the city, right? But it never talks about the causes. It never talks about how it comes out of poverty, how it comes out of desperation, how when you close 50 schools, and over uh, six mental health clinics, how you take away resources from our communities. Our lives are thrown into a chaotic situation by the weekly cleanings that have a very reasonable explanation, yet the city would spend all this money to bring out uh, the trucks to just simply sweep. It is just making life very uncomfortable, and now with the taking of the tents, dangerous. I've been following what's happening with the homeless people under the bridges, and Kappelman, since Kappelman's been alderman, we've lost like thousands of units of very low-income housing in this neighborhood. You know, um, hotel, men's hotels and stuff like that, that they've just closed up, thrown everybody out on the streets, and then gentrified the place and raised the rents to like $1,000 a month. It's ridiculous. Poor families are being dis dis evicted, they're being displaced every day. And I think that we cannot take it no more. We bring awareness to those that are not aware that Chicago has a problem, not only senseless violence, but homelessness. And this is the epicenter of the homeless population because while black lives matter, all lives are underneath these bridges.